Join me this week on a fabulous jaunt through Genova, the place I've called home for 20 years. Genova is la superba, and this week you'll find out why. So here's one of my favorite vantage points on the city of Genoa. In one glance, you have Renzo Piano in the foreground, the greatest architect of the 20th century, 21st century, and a little look at the tower, the Grimaldi Tower of Palazzo Ducale from the 15th century, San Lorenzo Bell Tower Cathedral, what we call Il Grattacielo, the skyscraper, and all of it nestled on this wonderful port that is Genoa. So we never want to forget that Genoa is a port, and if you're standing where I'm standing right now, that's hard to forget. We're in the middle of the sea here, where you can see why this little harbor was the most important port in the Middle Ages Renaissance, and even today holds its own in the Mediterranean. We've got a little bit of everything from pleasure craft and yachts, to the giant cruise ships, to fishermen, to heavy industrial, the uh, highways of the sea, out by the more industrial area of the city. Love my Genoa port. So here we are in the center of Genoa, in a little piazza called the Piazza of the Sundial. That's a Meridiana, which you can see on the front of this palace, also called the Palace Palazzo della Meridiana. It was the first building to be built in what would later become the first gated community in Italy. Come see it with me. So this is Via Garibaldi, which is a recent name because originally it was called La Strada Nuova, the new street with all these beautiful buildings on it. And La Strada Nuova is also La Strada Aurea, or the Golden Way. Golden because the richest families in Genoa, which by the way were not noble families, but merchant families, decided to build their palaces together, one facing the other, all in a row, the first gated community in the world and now one of Italy's beautiful, most beautiful streets, which means it's one of the most beautiful streets in the world. So take a walk with me and get a load of these palaces. So life in Italy revolves around the piazza, even today. Trust me, you're going to see everything happening in this piazza. Everything from little kids to the old folks taking a rest on the benches to the middle-aged people having their drinks at the outdoor cafe. So this is one of my favorite views in all of Genova, and it's a sparkling day with snow-covered mountains.
So I hope you've enjoyed looking around my favorite little corner of Italy. Genova is such a welcoming, cozy place to live and the place that I learned how to live like an Italian.